Khalid Mahmood, MP for Birmingham, Perry Bar. Manifest in, in, in differences, it manifests in uh, fear, uh, it manifests in uh, just the fear of the difference uh, and, and general uh, fear aggravated by issues that surround people generally uh, and just by manipulated by people who use, who seek to use race as a political tool to gain self-publicity. Uh, and self-promotion. Uh, so racism is, is a tool uh, that people want to generate hatred through. Well, it, it, it demoralizes uh, communities, uh, it segregates communities, it isolates communities, it sets friends against friends and a neighbor against neighbor. Uh, and I think it's just a uh, very divisive object used by people, uh, again, in power. Uh, and it's not necessarily always the direct political power, uh, power in the community. I think a lot, uh, I think if you look at the generational uh, shift in Birmingham, uh, when the first communities came in to Birmingham, there was the Irish community. And because of the Irish community had suffered racism, uh, then there was the black and Asian community, who suffered a bit less because the Irish community that had settled in Birmingham uh, had a buffer, the, the Asian and the African Arabian community came, had a buffer from the Irish community. So they had less racism. Uh, and people then got used to working together and doing things. And when you actually start to learn people and uh, people's attitude and start to talk to people and then start to enjoy their culture and their food, you don't think it's all bad. Uh, but it's, it's that isolation when you're not part of it mm -hmm. that you feel like there is that threat. Uh, and when you get together, you think, well, you know, they sort of have the same features, mm. uh, and they have the same sort of attitude to life as, as generally we do, yeah. and they're bloody the same as us. Uh, and you don't sort of have that. Uh, real uh, differences which people pump into your mind sometimes. Uh, and I say it's not just about general politics, it's about community power that people use sometimes racism to gain power in a particular sector. I think so. I think you've got some of the younger people now are very, very, uh, I, I think, race free. Uh, that because of the environment that they've grown in, they don't see the differences in colour. Uh, what they do is they might disagree with somebody, they might dislike somebody, mm -hmm. but that wouldn't be on the basis of race. So I think it's much more important, from, particularly in places like Birmingham, where you've got such a cosmopolitan mix. Mm -hmm. And in some schools you've got a smaller population of white young people. Mm -hmm. uh, and so the mix is, is far, far greater and far easier. I think it would be very difficult. Uh, I think particularly because of the racist movements, particularly that are in Europe, uh, now in the UK, uh, people like EDL and the BNP are going to make sure that they continue to do that. I think it's up to us, uh, to a large degree as politicians, mm -hmm. to see that if we can make life better for all people in our communities. And that would be the best way of getting into racism. Uh, it's no good accusing one uh, council or state, white council state of being racist because they don't get the services. So when somebody comes and tells them that somebody else is getting your services, they're then going to feel threatened by that mm. and f feel isolated by that. So they get that. And I think so it's very, very difficult for us to deal with that. But we need to deal with it. And I think particularly we need to deal with it. And that would be the best way of raising it.